Mayhem at Mondawmin Mall today. A witness shares this video with Fox 45 News sharing a rowdy crowd of young people. I seen a whole bunch of kids just fighting a whole bunch of them. Well, witnesses say at one point a police officer was actually punched in the face. And it comes as a post is circulating on social media encouraging people to gather and, quote, pop all. It means get wild at Mondawmin Mall tomorrow. Fox 45's Keith Daniels joins us live with more in the chaos. And Keith, this is eerily similar to you and I talking live on the anniversary of Freddie Gray's death. Absolutely, Kai. Now, we're live outside of Mondawmin Mall, where many of those people, many of those young people, met here today before the brawl. And tonight, what could happen tomorrow? At Liberty Heights Avenue, near Woodbrook Avenue, chaos at the corner. I seen a whole bunch of kids just fighting a whole bunch of them. Dozens of juveniles gathered in a group. Fights break out. The disorder caught on cell phone video. Punches are thrown. Juveniles attacking juveniles. Look closely. A Baltimore City police officer seen in the middle of the crowd trying to break it up. We're told later a teen punched the officer in the face. I see this young lady on the ground being stomped. Miss Tracy, on her way home, says she stopped her car when she saw a girl in distress and a boy under attack. They got the little boy on the ground over there and just stomped him. For what reason? He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. And they just kept stomping him and stomping him and stomping him. The mayhem happening near Mondawmin Mall, where an Instagram account is calling for a Mondawmin link up this Friday. The post urging participants to show up at the mall, have fun, bring all the drama, and uses an expletive regarding the police. The social media image gives a start time of 3 p.m. on Friday, suggesting the flash mob gathering will end whenever they start shooting. Have fun, bring all the drama. Sheila Pompey and Kimberly Davis at the bus stop at Mondawmin, angered by the post. It's crazy. Some ignorant, foolish person didn't have anything to do. They just trying to start some more trouble. Why? What, what purpose is that? What is it going to prove? The social media post is strikingly similar to one that sparked a series of riots in the city after Freddie Gray's death in police custody in 2015. That post called for a purge at Mondawmin Mall at 3 p.m. April 27th, eight years ago today. It's crazy. We need to do something. Well, we did reach out to Baltimore City Police. A spokesman told me that the department and their law partners are aware of that social media post. They say they're ready to stop any misconduct. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.